The U.S. Treasury is warning Congress that the government could run out of cash to pay its bills in less than a month if lawmakers don't raise the debt limit. This deadline means more uncertainty for our economy that has had recent bank failures and continuing inflation. Nancy Cortez is at the White House. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Nate. We are now starting to see a little bit of movement. President Biden called all four congressional leaders on Monday and invited them to a meeting next Tuesday here at the White House to discuss the debt limit. This new alert from the Treasury Department is only adding to the pressure to reach a resolution quickly. For over 200 years, America's never, ever, ever failed to pay its debt. That record could be tested in just four weeks, according to Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. In a letter to congressional leaders Monday, she warned that the government won't be able to meet its financial obligations potentially as early as June 1st, unless the debt limit is raised or suspended by Congress. We pay our bills. And we should do so without reckless hostage taking from some of the mega Republicans in Congress. The bill is passed. House Republicans passed a bill last week that would raise the debt limit. But the bill included a range of steep spending cuts targeting many of President Biden's priorities. Senate Democrats say that bill is dead on arrival. On his first foreign trip as House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy spoke about the debt ceiling from Israel, saying the bill should be a starting point for negotiations. We will not pass the debt ceiling that just raises it without doing something about our debt. While the U.S. has never defaulted on its debt, it did come close during a similar fight in 2011, which rocked the markets and led to a downgrade of U.S. credit. The president of the United States needs to, needs to see the reality, see the writing on the wall, and do the right thing. Greg McBride, chief financial analyst at Bankrate, says a failure to act could have even more serious consequences this time around. Debt really doesn't get raised. All bets are off. We will have a recession, and it won't be a mild one. This added uncertainty comes as the Federal Reserve is still trying to deal with the impact of high inflation. Today, the Fed begins a two-day meeting to decide whether to increase interest rates again and by how much. All of this scale is high stakes for the White House. The state of the economy, of course, will be pivotal to the president's re-election prospects. All right. We'll all be watching. Thank you, Nancy.